what's up? This is Dom from MacMixing.com, and today we're going to go over auto-tune. Um, it's a really quick and easy way to get a super tuned effect. I'm just going to show you actually the quote T-Pain way of doing things. Though I really hate calling it that because it was around much longer before T-Pain ever existed. Um, but we're going to go ahead and show you how to get that clean, tuned sound that you hear in a lot of mainstream hip-hop and R&B. Uh, it's really easy, actually. You want to make sure you have an audio track pulled up. Go to our insert here under plugin. Mine is under pitch shift, uh, though some people may have it under other. Or if you have a wrapped version, I also have a wrapped version of uh, AutoTune 5. Um, but we're going to go ahead and show you with Evo, AutoTune Evo. And uh, so we're going to pull up the insert. And so now here you see we have the insert going. And as I'm talking, if you can see the levels up here, it's actually it, it's trying to determine whether or not I'm singing in a key. Um, it's, it's actually detecting how far off of zero I am of each note that I'm saying. Because regardless of if you realize it, uh, when you talk, you're actually speaking a note in some form or another. So first thing you want to do is take your retune speed all the way down to zero. When I say down, I actually mean you want to take it all the way to the right uh, too fast. So that number right there will go to zero. Then the next thing you want to do is you want to take your formant and raise it all the way up to 100. Same with the amplitude amount. And uh, you're basically ready to go. Uh, right now, the only reason why it's not detecting any specific notes is because I have it in chromatic mode. Um, and for this, also, you really have to know the key of the song that you're singing in. Uh, I've seen a lot of people use the auto-tune effect, and they know nothing about keys, and they just put it on whatever, you know, the, the default setting, and they just switch the scales uh, to major or minor to get that tuned effect, and it sounds horrible and out of key. And so if you just make sure that you're singing in the right, or you know what key you're singing in, it'll make the song sound ten times better. So I'm just going to go ahead and select A, just because that's my favorite letter today. And uh, what we're going to do, uh, also, you want to click targeting here. And that'll, that'll ignore any vibrato. Make sure that you have this set to no vibrato. Um, none of these four right here really matter. You know, the, the rate, the onset delay, onset rate, and variation. That would only matter if you had the vibrato turned on. But we're going to leave it off because I don't want any weird, unnatural vibrato happening right now. We just want that straight tuned effect. So after we have it set to a key, we're going to go ahead and set, change it, change the scale. Now there's a bunch of scales down here and you can test them all out, but I'm just going to go ahead and switch it to minor because that's going to give you that effect. And I will show you that in a second. Hold on. So now we have it switched to minor. And if you listen to me, I'm singing. Sorry, I'm a horrible singer, but... Um, basically, that's how this works. It's really easy, and that's what you get. I mean, yeah. Like I said, you can switch it to major, and that's actually going to bypass all the minor notes and just put on the major notes. So it's actually going to change. It would change the notes that you were singing if they were minor. It would shift them to major because that's what it thinks you're trying to do. Um, so looks like there's a horn going off in the background. As you can see, I can sing in auto-tune. I can sing in auto-tune. Pretty simple. Not much to it. Um... Hello. Just for safe measures, I usually turn down these buttons just in case. But anyways, uh, that's how you get the auto-tune effect. And uh, hold on, let me take this off. Um, so yeah, that's how you get the auto-tune effect. And I uh, hope you guys like it. Visit MacMixing.com for all your audio production needs. Uh, once again, this is Dom from MacMixing.com. And hope you guys have a great day.